Okay, hey, it's Kim. So, I wanted to talk about tipping. I read so many things about this. Practically every single DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats post anywhere online is has something to do with tipping or a lack thereof. Now, in my opinion, tips should be optional for lots of services. But in the United States, I don't want to say United States. I'm going to talk about Southern California. That's where I live. Southern California, you're pretty much um, expected to tip for just about any service somebody gives you. you get your nails done. Uh, somebody cuts your hair. Somebody washes your car. Somebody whatever. Even fast food now, they have tip jars out. I have not seen it yet at a retail store, but I bet it's not far away. People are expecting to accept a tip for a service provided. Now, for food delivery, I don't think it's any different. I think uh, if we provide a service to a customer in Southern California, I don't know where else, but I think this person should understand that a tip is expected. Now. We are asking them to tip prior to a service being provided, right? Because when they order the food, that's when they're giving the tip. No service has been offered to them yet, and they don't know if it's gonna be good, bad, or if they're even gonna get their food. So I see why customers are hesitant to tip. Um, but on the other hand, they, I think probably there's more successful deliveries than unsuccessful deliveries, and there's probably more positive experiences than negatives. But regardless, I would think that people would understand that a tip is expected. Now, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm driving and these people are doing kind of stupid things in front of me. Um, anyways, so what I was going to say, I don't base whether I accept or decline a food delivery order based on the tip. I base it on the total pay for that pickup and delivery. Now, that being said, if the offer is... If the offer's too low, I'm not going to take it. Whether there's a tip or not. If the offer pays well, I will accept it. Whether there's a tip or not. I don't care where the money's coming from. I don't care if it's coming from a customer or the platform itself. It doesn't matter to me where the money comes from. Now, I will admit when you deliver an order and you finish the delivery and you find out that there's a zero tip, it's a little bit of an insult. I agree. But if I'm getting paid well enough from the platform, I don't care. Yes, in the back of my mind, I'm like, wow, those people didn't even tip. What jerks. But at the same time, I'm happy because I knew how much I was getting paid and I accepted it based on that face value of whatever that offer said and I was happy with that amount. And that's the key. You have to be happy with the amount on the face value that you were offered. I don't have anything to show you because I haven't gotten anything. Oh, ooh, here's a here's an Uber. So here's badass breakfast burritos, and it is going 3.8 miles for 11.28. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Okay, so it's going three miles for $11. So my criteria is it has to be at least two dollars a mile, and it is has to be a relatively easy pickup and I think it should be this is not a peak meal time so hopefully they'll have it ready and a relatively easy drop-off it's going to a house so in my opinion that's an easy drop-off so those three criteria are met so I accepted that offer now if it said five dollars and 28 cents and all the same criteria I would not accept it like I said, I'm not basing it on if there's a tip or no tip or how much that tip even is. I'm basing my decision on the face value of that 
this particular delivery. So that's Uber Eats. I may get more, maybe less. Um, I've had a couple tip baits where people have removed the tip, but for the most part, it's whatever it says or more. I'm not gonna count on it being more. If it is, fantastic. But if not, 11, 50 or whatever much it was, it's fine. And that's what you need to do. Base your decision on what is shown, what is offered to you. Not what may happen after you drop it off. Not what the hidden tip may be. Not if the person's gonna give you cash. Just base your decision on face value, exactly what you're seeing. And that's what I do. I know, like I said, I, of course I want hidden tips. Of course I want a lot of extra money, but if it doesn't come, that's okay. I'm happy with this amount. And I think that's why I'm successful. I don't take a $2.25 tip hoping for a cash tip, you know, and then of course you don't get one and then you're upset. And you've done all this work for $2.25. I think that's the difference and I think that's what I'm trying to relay is that it doesn't matter where the money's coming from. It doesn't matter if it's a tip or not. Yes, I appreciate tips. Yes, I want there to be tips. But if there's not, it's not the end of the world because the order itself is paying enough that I'm okay with it. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to talk about. And I hope that some of you understand what I'm saying and don't put so much value on the tip amount itself. Because that's not what's important. It's the pay. It's the overall pay. Okay, I'm going to go in and get this.